Okay, well, yeah, that's a good start. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing today, Mark? So today we are going to button up the last of the Chase Bay's ABS and Brake Booster Delete Kit and all these nice lines here. So it was pretty much, it was done, essentially. All we have to do is make it fancy, right? We're gonna make it fancy, we gotta hook the things up and we gotta actually bleed the brakes today, hopefully. And uh, I've got some brand new, fresh, where'd it go? I think it's over here. Right there. Some ATE gold. It's not the super blue. I wish it was, but it's not. <laughs> but it's not. It's the gold. This will be fine for now. Um, we may end up switching fluid later to modal or something, but that's what I got for now. So we'll use those. I've got some really nice nylon clamps, and these are just about perfect for doing these dash three lines. And I have some brand new, if you look right here, we have a whole brand new rib nut kit with a bunch of M6 rib nuts. But we yeah. gotta drill some holes. So we're gonna end up using a couple of the factory holes in the firewall. There's one right here, and there's one right here. And those are the two we're gonna use first. And then we're gonna end up working our way down underneath the car over here. And uh, maybe finding out somewhere over here we can put a rib nut or two. May even come over here, drill a hole somewhere underneath the bin and put one over here. That way that's all nice and snazzy and fine. Or we'll run it underneath, I don't know. We'll figure it out. It'll right. be nice though. I'm <clears throat> sure it looks pretty. So if you guys haven't seen this car before, uh, you can go back to some of my older videos or to his Instagram. Yeah, or my Instagram. Which is at mark.squatch. Um, and see more pictures of it. This car's rad. Uh, it's <laughs> probably, honestly, probably my favorite vehicle out of yours besides the 67. Think so? I really think so. I love the Datsun. I do love the Datsun, but this thing like has a very specific like to me like as far as like JDM hero vehicles in my eyes, like the like the GC8 platform it like they're terrifying. <laughs> They're terrifying because driving this car scared the piss out of me. <laughs> it was like it's punchy, it's angry, but it's like small. It's just, I don't know. It's it's just it's a it's a really really rad <laughs> rad vehicle. And let's just say I've, I've got three JDM Hero cars. Right. Yes. And he's got. This a, is your favorite. Uh, honestly, uh, I out mean, of the, as of out the of moment, S thirty Datsun. Right. And the FDR X seven. This is your favorite. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I really do think that this would be my favorite, especially once you strip the interior and quit f***ing around. <laughs> Look, man, I gotta stop breaking shit first. <laughs> right, but, but no, it's all you break stuff and it's all the same process. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna finish, finish this install um, completely, actually make it look all clean and fancy, which is stuff that I'm not good at, so... Uh, that's why Mark is here and we're working on one of his cars because clean and fancy is not not my forte so uh, Yeah, so that's what we're doing today um, Hope you guys are stoked because uh, I certainly am because that's gonna put it that much closer to uh, Ripping on the track again fact big yep. time We kind of have a deadline on this because we're supposed to get this done before March 19th, which is our first event of the year uh, hopefully Casey will have something that he will be bringing out there this year because what day is it March 19th? I can do that. It's, it's behind you on jack stands okay. <laughs> But we're gonna get this done We're also gonna rage on that. We're yeah, gonna... but this is gonna get done before that Okay, but you need a race car this year. I know I'm sick of you screwing around I know I know I know I know and that's gonna Even be if it. it's got to it. be that red one out there with the soft top yeah, but that one's too nice. Or your brand or new, my daily. your brand new turbo daily, <laughs> which would be okay for autocross because it's the size of a thimble. <laughs> Back to regular scheduled content, though. The G the uh, WRX swap. Yeah, WRX swap. GC8. 2006 WRX. Swap. 2006 specifically. Yeah. Look at this. Eh, engine's crusty. Let's yeah, but it does what it needs to do, though. That's the whole point. Let's not look too deep into it. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, we don't have to, but <laughs> but the, it's not the you point. You know what? That'll be the next video. We're going to rewrap some things and make it look nice and right. uh, go through and replace a bunch of seals and gaskets and, you know, all that crap. Right. But that's for a later date. So for right. now, Mark wants to drill holes. 
<laughs> so let's punch some holes in your car. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Holy. Yep. All right. One. I'm gonna rip that. One size larger. Are you kidding me? You don't want to tap with a hammer? You like that drill bit set, dude? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Fuck you, okay? <laughs> yep. It's not like a midi lake. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that how it's going to be? Which is Algonquin for the promised land. What? That's not real. Yeah, well, I really have no idea how this works. One in each. That's how it works. Okay. So. What we're gonna do, since these fit oh so nice, this is a very cool kit. You wanna do it? Mm, sure. I think you wanna do it. Sure. Let me get further back. Get in the car. What? Get in the car. Get in the car? Get in the f car. Oh, get in the car. Okay. Oh yeah. Trying to make a montage here, so fucking shit. How about you mom my crotch? Do you want to make videos? Or you want to just be a fing ham fisted idiot? But it doesn't get paid. You're an actor. You're an actor. <laughs> get it right. Yeah. Okay, so. Let me turn. Okay, so it's been a minute, but uh, after a bunch of weird little things like punching some of these washers washers, these little rubber dealios a little bit bigger and finding hardware and blah, 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 blah. Um, we got it pretty well tucked up. Well, Mark does. I was doing all sorts of goofy stuff. But if you look, like that looks pretty clean. And it goes down in there, right along. That's mighty dark and then it goes up into that. So really, that's pretty dang good. It's tucked down along that frame rail pretty nicely. Yeah. I think it looks good. I'm sufficiently pleased. Right. Good. Yeah. So, um, and that took some riv nutting and uh, some just factory holes. Yeah. Yeah, so most of them are actually factory holes that we just kind of like drilled out a little bit so the riv nut would fit and then yeah, bolted them together, these little nylon clamps. Worked out really nice. Yeah. Looks pretty good. So n now we are... Now we're going to move on to bleeding the brakes. Because that's the next step. So we need to bleed the brakes. So I'm going to jack up the back. I already broke loose the lug nuts. And we're going to take those back tires off and get everything bled. Booyah. See how this works. Booyah. I'm excited. Are you excited for the pedal feel, Mark? To actually have brakes? Kosher. Kosher. Stoked. Because there's something else that we could do back here. Right. And we're going to leave it off for that. I'm thinking if we got the tires off, it might be a good time to do the other thing. What we got to do back here. <laughs> Pretty racy. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Yeah. Pretty racy, Mark. Pretty. Like if I was wearing fishnets, dude. Racy. <laughs> Not to put an image in your head. Come down. Yep. Okay. 
We got bubbles. Make sure everything's tight. Tight. Go ahead and close it. Closing. Ooh, starting to get very tight. Double pressure. Sweet. Go ahead and open it. Good. Close it. Yep. Let me check the. There's more in there. Oh, f me. What? Nothing, I just missed. <laughs> oh, for <laughs> sakes. Like, a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah? Like, I missed a lot. <laughs> Hold on, if it's like an absorbent on the floor kind of situation. I just shot all of the fucking firewalls off. Oh. <laughs> Brake clean actually shines it up pretty good, dude. <laughs> Quinn's on his way, Quinn's on his way. Quinn's on his way with another J and it's okay. Okay. Hell yeah! Okay. That was small bubbles. Okay. Good. That was small bubbles. Okay. Good. Couple of small bubbles. I did hear something squirt somewhere though. Sweet. <laughs> um I don't know. How about you hit the pedal a couple times and hold it and then I'll go break it loose, but I'll look for leaks in the meantime. Stop. What's up? It's the one in the T in the bottom of this right here. Okay, see, okay. So this, is, this, this is how it goes though. If it went right the first time, I'd be more nervous. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Working the kinks out. Okay. Take 37. Yes. All right, let's see if we hear any. Yeah. I hear something, dude. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> it's in the soft line over here. I can touch this. Man, this is gonna work so great someday. So. Air is really easy to bleed out of a colander, you know what I'm saying? Ow. <laughs> um, okay. You done? You wanna hand me that over here? Maybe we can do this one. Is it on both sides? I'm gonna do it on this side. Okay. Because, you know what? You don't know, no, I tightened that one. Yeah, well, I thought you tightened the other one too. I got a half a turn. Well, why don't you do this one too then? Because <laughs> now I'm nervous. <laughs> Alright, take 39. Let's some more air out of our colander brake system. <laughs> Silence. Dude, okay. three might happen! <laughs> okay. Hold okay. on, don't jump, don't jump the gun now. Are you holding? I see a lot of bubbles now. Here, go ahead, open it. Definitely still some bubbles, but that's clean, clean. Very good. Oh, do we want to change the bias? Very good. Okay. Yeah. Alright, you want me to open it? Yeah, go ahead. Open. Still blue? It's just dark. Let me go again. Okay. Go ahead. 
I didn't see any bubbles. Okay. Oh, that's way better than it was. No, that, that feels pretty much how it should, I think. I was gonna say it feels it feels good. Cause it's supposed to depress a little bit and then your foot becomes Right. Your gauge for how much brake pressure. Right, because you can even hear that as soon as your foot touches, you can hear the calipers start to push, and then you can kind of feel where it starts to hit the pad actually and apply that pressure. Right. And it feels like your actual pressure gauge on your foot, you know what I mean, <laughs> is only like, is not much. Cool, dude, that setup is mint. So we had to check a bunch of every single coupling in the entire braking system because we kept getting air in the lines. Uh, it appears there might still be a tiny stray bubble here and there. I mean like a tiny bubble. It looks like carbonation. It's ridiculous. But um, I think we're actually good. <clears throat> so... That being said, this kit is sweet. I dig it a lot. I would do one. Yeah. 10 out of 10, I would yeah, do. Yeah, I think I would do it again. I would, I would do most one. definitely pay for it again. Right, well, yeah, considering I'm looking for a manual brake kit for the vet right now, I think it's pretty safe to assume I feel the same way. We're looking pretty good. Yeah. I uh, have accomplished what I wanted to get accomplished today, mm -hmm. I think tomorrow we're going to introduce what we got to do in the back. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. And that's going to be super rad. It's going to be stupid. That's going to be sweet. I'm, I'm excited. I think I'm probably, you know, I might be most pumped for the brakes. Really? Ironically. That is, See what I did there? Uh, yeah, it was stupid. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's going to be awesome. So bottom line guys and gals, everybody, um, make sure to follow along. If you like this vehicle, if you like JDM content, if you like stuff like that, make sure to sure to tag along for the ride. Cause he's got plenty of that stuff that we're going to be doing over here. Also, uh, when he gets his new place built, uh, we're going to be doing heading over there sometimes and, uh, visiting his shop to help him with some rad stuff. Yep. I'm, I know that probably only a handful of people are going to watch this, so I'm telling you guys right now. He's planning on putting a 2JZ in his F-150. Yeah. So. And airbags. And airbags. So. And 700 horsepower. Even if you just, <laughs> even if you just subscribe for later, you should. Because it's going to get really rowdy on this channel <laughs> sooner rather than later. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching. If you stayed this long. I appreciate you more than you know, <laughs> and uh, take it easy, be safe, get out of the garage, start wrenching on stuff. Tip your waitresses. Tip your waiters and waitresses, your baristas and your baristos, uh, and uh, yeah, have a good night. Uh, yeah. Thanks everyone. Peace out. <clears throat> Man, I'm hungry. Alright, well, I'm done here. Okay. <laughs> I'm bleeding and it won't stop. I'm a little upset. <laughs>